Defense Metals, delivering critical metals to meet national security plus green technology needs. Along with its numerous copper and gold mines and deposits in British Columbia, the government of British Columbia is now recognizing the significant potential of rare earth element development within the province. Josie Osborne, Minister of Energy and Mines, stated, Rare earth elements play a crucial role in green technologies like wind turbines and electric vehicle motors, and projects such as Wichita are integral to BC's critical mineral strategy and the world's energy transition. The BC Critical Minerals Office will bring significant benefits to the Wichita project and others like it by providing a concierge-like service with dedicated support to navigate regulatory processes, advance funding opportunities, and expedite solutions to issues. The Wichita Re project is approximately 80 kilometers northeast of the city of Prince George, is readily accessible by a paved highway and all-weather gravel roads, and is close to infrastructure including hydropower transmission lines and gas pipelines. The nearby Canadian National Railway and major highways allow easy access to the port facilities at Prince Rupert, the closest major North American port to Asia. Exploration has focused on an area of re-enriched carbonatites, this area is defined by a radiometric airborne survey, thorium anomaly. A total of 15,500 meters of drilling within 79 drill holes have been completed on the Wichita project. A 2023 mineral resource estimate comprises a 6.4 million tons measured mineral resource, averaging 2.86% TRIO, 27.8 million tons indicated mineral resource, averaging 1.84% TRIO, and 11.1 million tons inferred mineral resource, averaging 1.02% TRIO, reported at a cutoff grade of 0.5% TRIO, within a conceptual open pit shell. Defense Metals, delivering critical metals to meet national security plus green technology needs.